57 hours, baby, until the Buffalo Bills sort of invade L.A. and take on the Rams. I'm here. It's called Up and Adams. Uh, it's a new show here on FanDuel. Uh, we've got a lot of new people to introduce you to. I'm not here by myself. You're here, of course. We just had the great Sean Payton joining us on the program. But I want to introduce everyone to a super producer making it all happen behind the scenes in the control room, dealing with me and my neurotic behavior. This is Conrad Company. You had a year over at Fox, and now you're here, Conrad Welcome. Yeah, okay. So happy to be here. Funny enough, between the two of us, people believe that I'm the one with the fake name. Yeah, Conrad Company is not real. It's the name of a production company or otherwise. Uh, I will, I mean, how great was Sean Payton? I mean, Sean Payton was amazing. I just want to sit at this breakfast club. That's all I could think about. Golf and a breakfast club with Wayne Gretzky? Yeah. What? His life is insane. Okay, but here's my thing. We have fantasy football to talk about. I've been gone, as you know, for a long time. I took a little break, but I'm back. And before the season kicks off, I just sort of have to get my guys out there, you yeah, know? So everybody knows I'm going to call my shot and I'm going to, you know, champion these people throughout the season. So bring your venom, as you always do, on Twitter, everybody. And Conrad, you bring that smile and some questions. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, Twitter was ablaze while you were gone. Everybody, everybody was wondering where in the world Kay Adams was. And you know what? They desperately needed your fantasy football advice. So let's give the people what they want, Kay. Let's get rolling with a little fantasy fill in the blanks. Ah, let me stretch. Go for it. You ready? Yeah. You ready to go for it? Yeah, go for it. All right, up first. There's a rookie receiver that absolutely crushes it every year, Kay. Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase. But blank will be the next in that line. Oh, Man, well, there were a lot of rookie wide receivers taken. That's what you mean. So let's look at, let's, let's just set the table here of these rookies taken. Let's just go first round. Let's take a look at those. And you've got your pick of, of gentlemen, if we can pop those up. Control room. That's okay. We're going to go Chris Olave. Chris Olave is the guy that I think is going to do it. And here is why. Yes, this is the list. So, right, he's going to benefit from defenses keying in on Michael Thomas. I do believe in Michael Thomas. Healthy back to form. You heard Coach John Payton say they're winning the damn division, people. Think about it. Jefferson and Chase, who you mentioned, really good receivers playing alongside them, right? Two-time Pro Bowler Adam Thielen with Jefferson. And then T. Higgins in Cincinnati, an absolute stud. Defenses had to account for those guys, just like they're going to have to do for Michael Thomas. Olave also... Mr. Conrad Company, the perfect compliment. He is, what did you say, a blaze? A blaze. He is a blazing 439 speed, my friend. And I love that about him. We know Jameis, Mr. Wildcard, likes to take shots downfield, and he can do that. Uh, and remember, I will also remember, Jameis, if you can get the best out of him, and he did turn a corner, and you should listen to our Sean Payton interview, we'll post it on Twitter. Yes. Uh, he had number one wide receivers in Chris Godwin and Mike, Mike Evans. Evans when he was in Tampa and made it happen and he was throwing. So if he can get those yards up and be the Jameis we know he can be with a healthy Michael Thomas, Olave, because of situation of those guys, is going to have the best fantasy year. I mean, people forget, too. The Saints added Jarvis Landry. So you have Michael Thomas, Jarvis Landry on the edges, and then you have Olave going deep. What is this background? Can we, can we change your background every day? For sure. We I didn't can. approve that. I like it, but I just I feel like we can make it a little. No, we can. We'll give it a little more personality. Let's put you on like an F1 track. Let's put you like at the Hort at Del Mar. Like let's put let's let's play with this tomorrow, okay? All right, I got you, Kay. Okay. I Brian, got you, you Kay. notes over there. Let's okay, let's let's move on to the next fill in the blank, though. You ready? <laughs> yeah. All right. A lot of players around the league are under the radar, but blank is officially on the Kadar. Who approved Kadar? Who? Listen, the show is called Up and Adams. One pun per show is enough, and that's the one. That's why I literally made that pun. So Richard Isakow back there could not follow me from NFL Network and decide to pun it up over here. But I will say, listen, a lot of love for Cortland Sutton. I get it. But I'm going to go Jerry Judy. I'm going to go Jerry Judy is the guy here, and let's take a look at some of the route running that he has. This is what he's always had, and he's done so well. This man is a technician. We've seen this three years now, dating back to Alabama. You know, we haven't seen the fantasy production yet, but you want to know why? Because we have not had a quarterback who's able to get him the ball. He gets a lot of crap for being drafted before Justin Jefferson, ahead of C.D. Lamb, who Sean Payton loves back in 2020. I think this is the year he reminds people, look where he's going. Like Marquise Brown, Marquise He's proud about, got fed so many targets when he was in Baltimore, even though I don't think he thinks so. But I don't know if he'll – Allen Robinson, a lot of mouths to feed with the, with the Rams. I love him. But Jerry Judy needs to be taken more seriously, and I think he's going to crush it. Oh. Yeah, okay, you know what? I think one thing about seeing Russell Wilson now in Denver, too, as well, is that Jerry Judy is going to be a more athletic, bigger version right. of Tyler Lockett. 
Oh, is that your Seattle shining through? That's, that's Every, a little. If you didn't know, Conrad was from Seattle, and he's probably going to talk about Seattle, which I love because I feel like the national media never gives them enough love. And I love Tyler Lockett, and I'm mad Bobby Wagner left. Hey, listen, I think Russell's in a great spot in Denver. I have them being a really good team this year. Now he has even, I think he has equivalent weapons in Denver as what he had in Seattle. So let's move on to another one. <laughs> <laughs> let's go into another fill in the blank. All right. A lot of players have something to prove in 2022, but blank has the most to prove. Well, let's look at quarterback rankings. I'm always trying to find a value in who people don't like and what everyone's thinking about. So Fantasy Pros, by the way, is where I go. It's where I've gone my entire fantasy football career. So we are uh, pulling these from there. If you look at this, okay, one through eight, those are some good quarterbacks. Okay, all right, all right, LMR Jackson, sure, he's, he can do it all. Kyler Murray, you know, talent-wise, can do it. Jalen Hurts should be better. Who are we missing here? Can I see nine through something? Okay, not Russell. Aaron Rodgers is 13? He's not a QB1, are we joking? Listen, I get it. He's slinking off the field in the snow, upset after he loses in the playoffs again. But this was your MVP. This is absolute insanity here. Uh, I guess it's showing that fantasy experts think that the loss of Devontae Adams was absolutely going to sand back his fantasy value. His worst fantasy finish, let me just tell you, in a healthy season, Conrad, do you know what it was? What was it? Ninth. He's never been outside the top 10 when he's healthy. I don't know why that would change. You know how many, let me do the quick math here. Pull out my TI-89. That's 11 healthy seasons when he's absolutely crushed it. I don't see the, why that would change now. Is, are we saying Devontae Adams made Aaron Rodgers? Are we saying that? Are we saying that? Are, are you we saying, saying that? that? No, I'm not. Are we saying that LaFleur isn't creative and doesn't have a great offense? I don't understand. I just, it's weapons, Kay. It's weapons and it's reps. I mean, you can see Aaron. When was the last time you saw Aaron Rodgers in the preseason get this upset with a bunch of rookies? I think it was like when Devontae Adams was a puppy. Are you looking at preseason headlines? What, what happened last year with the Packers in the preseason and how we talked about that day in, day out at nauseum, and then he won the MVP? We're not talking. We're not talking ship, which he needs to get, of course. But I'm talking fantasy value. We're talking practice. He was what number two last year? Top five? No, he was top five last year. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hit me with your last one, quick. All right, last one. Here we go. Blank will make or break your 22 fantasy football season. Okay, I've done a bunch of mock drafts. I did one with Roto Worlds as experts, and I was an idiot in it. The number two spot is the most absurd spot to draft in. You get to number two. Jonathan Taylor, of course, number one overall. And then you're like, do I take Derrick Henry? Like, is he going to hold up? Do I take Christian McCaffrey? Christian McCaffrey is your make or break player because the upside is higher than anyone, higher than Jonathan Taylor, higher than, than uh, Derrick Henry, than whoever. Uh, and if he can stay healthy. I know he's working so hard. He knows this is a huge year for him. He knows everything matters. But if you take him and he stays healthy, you have a great shot to win your league, especially in a PPR. He's one of just three players to ever put up a thousand and a thousand. He's had two, not just one, two 100 catch seasons. Dangerous fantasy threat, the most dangerous, I think, that's ever been, right? Really. In his 2019 season, the second highest PPR season, Conrad, of all time. So C-squared, as I'm going to call you, Conrad Company, C-squared, I just decided. I call you loafers, too. Yeah, loafers, too. But you know what? I'm just so happy that I had such a genius in the fantasy football world actually, like, give me a little kudos. Because yesterday, I took Christian McCaffrey number two overall. So look at that. That's already a little symmetry. You I also told me Aaron Rodgers wasn't a good fantasy quarterback. Take Aaron Rodgers okay. everywhere in daily All fantasy. Right. Trade for him low. Do what you need to do. Uh, SeaWorld, great job. We're going to be back after this. We don't know what's next. Who knows? You just have to tune in. And then, Kay, don't forget before we go, you're back. And everybody was waiting so long for you to be back. So check out all these beautiful tweets. Everybody's so excited about Kay Adams being ah, back. Conrad! You love it? <laughs> Conrad, you're amazing.